everyone my name is M Tommy Pastor of Peace Art Ministry a wonderful and a beautiful day right here in Nigeria yes I'm excited to be on the screen once again today and um, uh, I stumble on something and I feel like sharing it with you again you know when the, the BBC released that awkward documentary against Prophet T. B. Joshua and the Synagogue of All Nations um, everyone were angry everyone were angry and everybody were trying to make sure that they debunk that false information against the person of prophet Tibisha and the synagogue of all nations we had a lot of videos i did a video too as well to counter their claims and their allegations and i know because of time of video time we, we couldn't we couldn't give you things in extensively you know in their full form and we have to watch here and listen to here so we didn't understand so i don't just i don't want us to forget about the documentary every person in that documentary we must fish them out and we must expose them now i paid attention to whatever those people were saying what to word. remember what clue said remember what clue said and uh she said that she she, she didn't have the opportunity to leave Nigeria right from the day she came in to Nigeria she was in a trap she was in in bondage she was in slavery she was in this and she was in that and she tried everything possible to travel and she couldn't travel all right so because of time as at that time I couldn't give you a full no I'm gonna give you a fresh video a comprehensive video someone that is in UK that traveled to UK. Daddy was not there with them in UK. None of the disciples were. Daddy was not there. Mommy was not there. Went to UK and had a very good time with the grace of God upon Daddy's life that was imparted on her. She took carried out deliverances, healing, and all that in our own country. For example, you know that Africa is not like Europe. At least they are more advanced. They have intelligence more than us. So if you have the opportunity to leave your country, uh, to be in your country, that is be in the US, even when you were, uh, be in the UK, when you claim that you were in bondage here, wouldn't have you run away from there? Simple. You would have reported to the embassy, you would have reported to the government, I don't want to go back to Nigeria again. You went alone to UK and came back to Nigeria alone. <laughs> oh God. All right, sir. So, let me play this video for you. I want you to be the judge. And let's talk about it in the comment section. See you in the next episode. Watch this video now. Continue to pray. Out! Out in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank Jesus. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever is your situation, our situation speaks. This is the title of the message today. Our situation speaks. Tell your neighbor, your situation speaks. Your situation speaks. Your situation has a language. And right now, your situation is talking to you. When you confess blessing, even though you are so poor, God will watch over that word and he'll make it good. What you confess, you possess. When you confess freedom, that God has set you free, God would make that confession a reality. 